what is it like? And I hope you take this as a compliment. Yeah. Because I think I experienced the same thing that you guys. To not... Re- not really be famous, but to kind of be famous. And like this I don't weird. even feel famous. But a little bit, famous. people know who you are. Like you wouldn't yeah. get to come and be asked to be interviewed. If, right. you, if sure. you didn't have like a talent and be known for it, for sure. yeah. you have number one songs. Mm-hmm. But it's not like you can't, you're not Justin Bieber. True. Exactly, right? True. which is, I thank God yeah. for every day because like there are things, like elements of my life that I really want to do as long as I can. Like, for example, something that I, that fills my cup up every week. I teach, um, I teach children's ministry at my church. And so I have been a teacher there for four years and it is like, there are people that like the adults are like, Oh my gosh, that's Maddie. And then the kids are like, hi, Miss Maddie. I'm going to try not to crap my pants today. And I'm like, cool. Like, you know, or they're like, Miss Maddie, can you blow my nose? And I'm just like, like, you know, um, I feel like that keeps me really grounded, but it is a blessing. The only thing that drives me, me a little <clears throat> crazy is I feel bad because like my sister-in-law like you know they they don't care at all like my family they're proud of me but they know me you know they love us just for yes. us yeah and so she's like yeah you know people at work will be like oh I saw this thing Maddie was on she's like cool and then my brother-in-law said he he goes to texas state right now he's like i was hanging out with some friends and they're like dude so like what is it like when maddie's like staying at your parents house are you like starstruck and he's like uh no because she looks (laughs) funky as hell in the mornings and you know halitosis hasn't brushed her teeth yet like you know way too many places looking way too crusty to be uber famous and the worst that would be horrendous i have gotten recognized with no makeup on and that's embarrassing because at least they could tell you were well they're just like you look different i'm like (gasps) hey worst worst place and i'll lead because i'll ask the question and give you guys a second to think about it Mm -hmm. worst place you've ever been recognized okay i'll Mm. give you mine i was in a bathroom at a restaurant and I was at the urinal, <gasps> and guys stand, obviously. And, and there's you no, don't make eye contact, I hear. Like there's, well, don't. there was nobody next. There was two urinals, and there was a stall. And the guy in the stall next to me comes over the top and goes, hey, are you Bobby Bones? And over the top. That is a vulnerable first place all, for you peeing. to be in. Secondly, he was looking down. You could, you could, I mean, he had to look down because he was standing on the toilet. So he it, saw your bits. He, di- he saw. What did you say? That's vulnerable, man. I was, I said, uh yeah i was so stunned by it i didn't have some sort of quip or i was just like uh yeah you're literally in the most vulnerable Mm -hmm. stance you can possibly be in as a man we i feel like your answer i have mine well um one i was uh shopping at kohl's and this guy this little boy scared the crap out of me like popped out of a um like little clothing rack and was like, can I get your autograph? And I was like, oh my gosh, whoo, scared me so bad. But remember we started radio tour and we were at Texas Roadhouse and that girl, we were trying to go to the bathroom oh, yeah. and we were like trying to get to the next radio station real quick. And they're like, can we get a picture? Can we get this? And I'm just yeah. like, dying can i go pee real quick? The bathroom's a tough spot. It's just a very vulnerable place. Mine was getting waxed actually. What she she recognized me. What were you? I wasn't gonna ask that. You can do the follow up. I was just gonna sit Are back and go. With armpits? <laughs> my upper lip. Okay, no, let's no, go. I was doing my maintenance, and she was just talking to me <laughs> okay. about work, and I was like, "This is so uncomfortable." That she was sweet. is vulnerable. She meant no harm, but I was just like, "I don't, I don't want to be talking." So about it was like a summertime now. situation, like bathing suits. So or okay, yeah, I'm just like, she no, said. I, remember, it was a time we went together, and you, and oh you bailed. god, yeah, I did bail she on her. Me. Yeah, yeah. Once I was getting Sorry. a mole cut off my butt because that yeah now that you bring up the medical thing yeah and let's she, get real vulnerable and here. she said hey you're the guy from the radio oh and i was like yeah I, my pants were down there are just times mm. where, you, I, where but, you say it and you don't and you i know. don't think and it, i wasn't angry i just think it hit yeah. her and she said it she was like oh you're the guy from the radio Oh, and that's man. probably such a normal spot for her to be in. Sure. Yeah. She probably cuts moles off a hundred butts a week. Oh my gosh. Sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. Same for my wax lady. Yeah. They so don't even think about it. It was to them. That was just a normal part of the day. Yeah. Huh. But it was like a vulnerable for us. I guess all mine, my butt or my wiener's out. Yeah. Right, that it's is, just like, yeah. It's like, why does, why do you have to do that? Like yeah. that is the most vulnerable. Like, can you at least let me put my like junk back in your pants and, zip up <laughs> and then say, Hey, are you Bobby bones? You know what I mean? Then like, I, who knows? Then I yeah. might be gone. 